Hello there, Lawrence Grayson back again for shortformvideo.com with part three of this four part tutorial series called de-resing your video. Now, if you've been following the series so far, you should be uh, looking at something a little bit like this. Um, as you recall, in the previous tutorial, I showed you how to create a monitor outline, some scan lines, monitor reflections, and some static noise. An eagle-eyed viewer also pointed out that I should have dropped the static noise layer below the reflections. Um, to give it a more realistic look, because obviously the reflections shouldn't be affected by the static noise. It's only the image elements below that uh, are affected. So uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create three of the remaining five effects. Now the first one is this horizontal breakup. The next one is a little bit of ghosting. And the final of the three that I'm covering today is this horizontal flip. Um, which you normally get on old TVs where the horizontal hold's broken and it just uh, keeps rolling over. So let's get started. I'm going to put the uh, timeline indicator at the two second mark and then in the effects and presets panel I'm going to find the wave warp effect. I'm going to drag that and drop it on our base footage. Now uh, I'm just going to shy that so we can uh, see what we're doing a little bit better. And as always, we need to make some changes to the default settings because, uh, well, that's pretty ugly. It's not the kind of ugly that we're looking for. Okay, so in your effect controls panel, change the wave type from sine to noise. Change the direction from 90 degrees to 0 degrees. And turn the wave speed off, so from 1 to 0. And that gives us this broken up horizontal line effect. Now I'm actually going to set the wave height to 0 and the wave width to 1. It doesn't actually go to 0, but uh, 1 will make it invisible. And I'm just going to keyframe both of those. Now moving the timeline indicator to the 3 second mark, we're going to play with our effect. So by increasing the wave height to about 50 and the wave width to about 4, we get this chronic horizontal breakup. There are a couple of other things you might want to do with this. I and mean, you can actually set the noise from straight noise to smooth noise. And that gives you this uh, kind of staggered broken up effect. Or another good one is actually the square wave. Which if you increase the wave width type, gives you a slightly more digital breakup kind of look. But uh, that's not what we're after in this instance. So I'll just uh, take it back to noise. 50 height, 4 width, and uh, 0 wave speed. And then move the timeline indicator to the 4 second mark, and we'll just reset those values to 0 and 1. So now when I ran preview, we get that horizontal breakup. Now if I bring the uh, static effect back on, select my base footage and tap U to show the keyframes you just created. I'm just going to change the amount of static to match the amount of horizontal breakup. So I've twirled down the effects and find the noise amount at the two second mark, create a keyframe at the three second mark, increase the amount of noise to about 70%. At the four second mark, drop that back down again to 25%. And that'll just give us some corresponding static noise that goes with our horizontal breakup effect. And you can see when we've got all the effects turned on, you end up with this rather chronic noise distortion effect. Okay, so that's uh, effect number one covered. Um, the next one we were going to do is uh, ghosting. Now I'm actually going to create a pre-comp of our base footage by hitting Control, Shift, and C, and moving all the attributes to the new composition. I'll call this Base Footage Precomp, and just hit OK. It's not essential for this particular effect, but it'll come in handy later on when you're stacking all these things on top of each other. I'm going to select that and hit Control and D. I'm going to hit T to bring up the opacity values, and take it down to zero and just create a keyframe at that point. I'm going to tap P to bring up the position values 
and again create another keyframe and tap U twice to bring up the position and opacity values. So moving the timeline indicator to the six second mark, I'm going to bring the opacity up to about 30%. I'm going to drag the X value to about 700 pixels in this case. Now obviously these dimensions are fully reliant upon the um, primary dimensions of your footage. Um, just a quick reminder, I'm using the 720p preset, so uh, don't go by the numbers. Use your eyes and make sure you get the effect that you're after. But what that's created is a slow ghosting drift. So I'm going to move the timeline indicator to the 7 second mark. Add two new keyframes to the position and opacity. Reduce the opacity to zero and bring the layer back to its original position, which in my case is 640 um, on the X and 360 on the Y. And that'll create this nice, slow, drifting ghost. It's a pretty simple one. Um, you, you probably already worked that one out for yourself. So uh, I'm not going to hang around and cover any more of that because it's time to move on to the third and final effect, which is uh, one of the more effective ones, and that's the horizontal hold. So uh, timeline to the eight second mark, go to your effects and presets panel and find motion tile. And we're just gonna drag that onto our bottom base footage pre-comp. Because you remember this one's actually uh, now invisible. In fact, you can uh, crop it at that point just to make sure uh, it doesn't get in the way. Now motion tile is a very, very useful little uh, effect. Um, Essentially, you can create multiple instances of the same video just repeated as a tile, just like the name suggests. So by taking it from preset values and setting uh, tile width and tile height to 20, you get this uh, repeated um, video effect. Very, very useful for things like uh, video walls and uh, that kind of thing. But that's not what we're after right here, so I'm just going to reset that. So with the timeline indicator where we want it, I'm just going to create a keyframe on the tile center value. Move the timeline indicator one second forward. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to drag the Y value. Now holding down shift basically means we move in uh, increments of 10 rather than increments of 1. And you can see as I do this, it's flipping the screen over and over. So depending on how uh, manic you want this effect to be, I'm going to set it to 4000. I'm going to hit page down twice. I'm going to drag the Y value back up to about 3900. Tap page down again a couple of times. And we'll just square off the image. So let's see how that looks. Okay, so we've got this manically flipping horizontal hold effect with a little bit of a bounce right at the end, just as it squares off. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna cover in this particular part. In the fourth and final part, I'll be showing you the remaining effects, which is the uh, slowly moving black bar, and my personal favorite, the uh, color separation. So uh, if you're interested, keep your eyes open because that'll be up in the next couple of days. But for now, as always, I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.